hi again in my last video i showed you how to create an image gallery today i am going to explain to you how you can create and post carousel so let's get started make sure the wordpress carousel pro plugin is installed in your wordpress dashboard you can directly click add new or you can click on the wp carousel pro and then click add new to create a post carousel so it's up to you now give it a title for your post carousel and select source type as post and here you can select a post type from post pages and custom post types if you have any so let's keep it post as i am showing you the way to create a post carousel then you can filter the post by latest taxonomy and specific latest means all the posts will be displayed to the carousel select taxonomy to display posts from specific category post tags and post format if you choose category, you can select the category terms from where the post will be displayed in the carousel. Select specific filter to choose your desired post to be displayed in the carousel. You can order the post by drag and drag and drop like this. Suppose you want to create a carousel with a few particular posts only and the posts are not from a single category. So what you can do is using the specific filter you can choose those posts to display in the carousel so as i have selected a few posts so let's see in the live preview if they are showing or not as you can see the posts are showing in the live preview like this if i set the carousel column to 4 it will look more better so let's go back to the latest filter and set how many posts you want to display in your carousel by default the value is set to 10 if you want you can change the value as you like you can display your post in three different modes standard you have already seen it ticker and center so let's see the ticker and center mode carousel so i have select ticker and update the preview and you can see this is how the ticker mode looks like now if i select center and update the preview you can see this is how the center mode carousel looks like. Order the post by ID date, random title, modified menu order and drag and drop. Go to the style settings to get more attractive feature. Here you will find the content position options. You can select a content position from bottom, top, right, left or overlay. So let's see an example of the content position top. So as you can see, the content position are showing top in the center mode. So if I want to show the content position to the standard mode, so I have to do is select standard. And now if I update the preview, you can see the standard mode with the content position top looks like this. Now go back to the style settings. And here you will find more options to show or hide the post title, post content, read more button, post category, date, author, tag and comment count. You can also set the limit for the post title and post content from here. So now if I want to hide the post category, date, author, text and comment count and update the preview, you will see it is showing only the post title and description and the read more only, but the other post meta informations are not showing. So let's show the meta informations again and publish the shortcode and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcut block, publish the page and view it. So as you can see, this is how the post carousel looks like. Now you may wonder if you can change the navigation and pagination related properties. Yes, you can do that. Go to the carousel settings and here you will find the options to change the autoplay, autoplay speed, infinite loop, pause and hover and more. So now if I change the navigation position to top right and hide the pagination options and update the page and reload it, you can see the paginations are not showing and the navigations are showing at the top right corner. You can also change the typography properties from here. You can change the post title font, post content, post category, post meta font information. So if I change the post title font to Roboto and change the font color to this one, update the shortcode and reload the page, you can see the font color and the font family has been changed. 
So there are so many options to customize your carousel and give it an elegant look. I have shown you only a few core features. Check the plugin documentations and the demo videos to get more ideas. I hope you have got a clear idea of creating a post carousel. In the next video, I will come up with another features of the plugin. So see you in the next video.